اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Estimating and Modeling Higher Order Constructs in Seminar Now that we have looked into how to assess, evaluate lower order constructs in Seminar, the next step is to assess the higher order constructs in Seminar. With a series of lectures, the focus will be on estimation and modeling higher order constructs in Seminar. For our first example, I've taken a very basic model where I have got one a reflective higher order model or rather reflective reflective higher order model and a lower order construct. The reflective reflective higher order construct internal marketing affects the organizational performance. Now this here, this gray block here, this is internal marketing that is your second order a reflective construct with vision, development and rewards, the lower order constructs. Internal marketing is the higher order construct with these three sub dimensions. Now all of these three sub dimensions are measured reflectively, whereas internal marketing is also measured reflectively using vision development and rewards. So this is a reflective, a reflective higher order construct. Now, how do we test this model in a seminar? Now, there are a few basic steps that one has to follow. Step one is that you have to validate all your lower order constructs. You have to create a one separate file in SEM or in R, whereby you assess the reliability and validity of all lower order constructs. That is, this file will include vision, development, rewards, and organizational performance. We will not have the higher order construct internal marketing for now. We are just assessing all the lower order constructs. Now, how to do this? Let's have a look. Now, this is the file that I've created. Again, we all know about this. Now, what we do is we develop our measurement model with all the lower order constructs, vision, development, rewards, and organizational performance. Now, these are the lower order constructs for internal marketing. But in this case, for stage one or step one, I'm not going to mention anything about the higher order construct of internal marketing. Now that you have built your measurement model with all the lower order constructs, you link the lower order constructs with your dependent variable that is your structural model. Again, something like this, but here I'm not going to mention internal marketing. I'm just going to link the lower order constructs with your dependent variable. Just the same way we used to do in smart PLS. Now the lower order constructs are linked to the other lower order constructs or all lower order constructs are linked with each other. Now if you had more, you would simply link them with each other. Now once they are linked with each other, the next thing is you estimate your measurement model. Now that you have estimated your measurement model, again the measurement model, the structural model and all, the next thing is we generate the summary. Now once the summary is generated, Again, when we are reporting our model, and let's assume we only had the lower order constructs, we normally report loadings, reliability, HTMT, and foreign and locker criterion. Just simply run it. So once you run it, here is all the output that you need. These are your loadings, your reliability, your average variance extracted, your HTMT, your foreign and locker criterion, and this is your plot. You can simply export it. Now that you are done with step one, that is your lower order constructs are done. You have assessed their reliability and validity. Well, normally, obviously, if there are issues of reliability and validity, you deal with them as you dealt with them earlier. Now we are going to add the higher order construct with the lower order construct. So how to do this? Have a look here. Again, the same thing, but one thing that we do differently here is we are going to add this particular function. Now this function here is higher composite. Now instead of just composite, now we've got higher underscore composite. Now this composite here is made up of, okay, this is the name of the composite variable and it is made up of three dimensions here. Vision, development and rewards. Look at the names, the same names. Then comma and we are going to use the two stage approach. So higher composite, these are the lower order constructs that make up the higher order construct of IM 
and the method that we are going to use is two stage. Now in this case, since it's reflective reflective, we do not need to add mode or weighting scheme here. For now, we are just going to keep it simple and default. And finally, your composite dependent variable, again, as we did earlier. Now, this is your structural model. Now we are linking IM with organizational performance. Previously, we linked the sub dimensions with organizational performance, but I'm not interested in the sub dimension linkage with organizational performance. I'm interested in link of the higher order construct IM with organizational performance. One that, once that is done, you estimate your model, you can plot your model as well. But in this case, obviously, once you plot the model, you can have the reliability and validity as well. Now look, let's look at this here. Let's run it. Now look at this. Vision development involved. Now it is showing you the loadings for vision development and rewards. Now why? Because your vision development and rewards will become the indicators for your internal marketing. So that's why you've got the loadings for vision development and rewards. You've got the other loadings as well, but you do not need to report this for now. Now look at this, the reliability and validity for IM, the HTMT criterion and for and locker criterion. And similarly, just the way you reported your lower order constructs, you report the reliability and validity for your higher order constructs. One additional thing that you do with your higher order constructs in this example is we run the bootstrapping. Now, how do we run the bootstrapping? Again, the same method. We generate the summary and put it in this summary underscore boot object. And now we are interested in, let's say, let's run it, bootstrap path, just to assess whether IAM has got a significant impact on OP. Bootstrapping is running. Now here it is. IAM does have a significant impact on OP because there is no zero in between here and the T statistics is greater than 1.96. The effective size is pretty good as well. Now you can have the model as well. Just run it and here is your model. You can zoom into it as well. Look at this, significant. So I am reflective, reflective. So this is how you can model a simple reflective, reflective higher order construct in Semin R. In future, I'm going to have a much more complex examples as well. The code will be available on my website for download. The link will be shared in description. Again, just remember, you need a higher composite function with the higher construct name, its sub constructs or lower order constructs and the method that is two stage. Thank you very much.